Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from Weir Film, and I am very excited because today is Cyber Monday, if you're watching this on Cyber Monday, <laughs> and right now we are talking about the Horror LUT film pack here, the V2 version of the Horror LUTs from Triune Digital, which is Film Riot, if you didn't know that. So right now, these are $11.60. That is right, they're $11.60. So if it is Cyber Monday still for you, go get them. And if it is not Cyber Monday for you, still go get them. These are worth every penny, as we're going to be talking about today. Now, just a quick disclaimer, uh, Triumph Digital did send me these, but they have nothing to do with this video. They did not sponsor it. They're not paying me in any way or shape or form, but I do love their stuff anyway. So, yeah, so again, it is Cyber Monday. Uh, if you're watching it today on Cyber Monday, Horror Film Looks V2, go grab them. So today we're going to be going over some of those horror looks, and I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve, but of course, this is going to work exactly the same in whatever software you use that supports LUTs. I'm just using DaVinci Resolve just because it's a little easier to show you in it. So, yeah. So today we're going to be showing, again, the Horror LUTs V2. So I did a review on the V1. That's going to be linked down in the description below. So if you want to check that out, go do so. Uh, I loved those. And this is honestly an incredible LUT pack on its own, but it's also a great companion to that first pack. So that's one thing that's really nice that Triumph Digital does is they make great standalone versions, but they're also great companions. So that way you're not getting like the same thing over and over, uh, but you, you also could just get these and it would be awesome as well. So I have mine here, Horror LUTs V2. When you open up the folder, you see that you get a bunch of different kinds of LUTs. This is amazing because, of course, depending on what camera you're using or how your workflow is, these are there's so many options. Now, of course, you have the utility LUTs, which converts a lot of the logs you have over to a Rec. 709 color space, if that's what you like to do. Um, you also have the standard, which is the Rec. 709, or, of course, several of the log ones. Now, because we shot Blackmagic RAW and BMD Film, I am going to actually be using the Blackmagic BMD Film. Now, again, if you, you want to use whatever log you were in, uh, Rec. 709, if you've already converted, and if you want to convert it with the Rec. 709, they have all of those right there. So, one of the things I really love is it really is a top to bottom, you get everything in there, everything you need. So, we're going to jump into the Blackmagic film. Now, and also, all of these are exactly the same. There's no difference between any of them, other than, obviously, they work differently on the different clips. So, what I'm going to do, because we shot in RAWs, I'm going to go down here to my RAW settings, I'm going to make sure it's clip. And then I'm going to make sure that we are set to the BMD film. And yeah, there we go. Now, again, we could set it to Rec. 709 if we wanted to. Obviously, if you didn't shoot in RAW, none of that matters for you. And we're ready to go. So I'm going to make a new node, or if you're in a different program, you'd make maybe a new layer, an adjustment layer, or something of that nature. And you can start taking a peek at some of these LUTs. Now, there are a ton. I believe there's 31. And uh, we have everything from A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, A Quiet Place, Antlers, I don't actually know that movie, uh, Apostle, Child's Play, Climax, Don't Breathe, I'm going to go through all these here, Fright Night, Get Out, Good Night Mommy, great movie, Green Room, Halloween, one of my favorites, Let Me In, Jeepers Creepers, It Comes at Night, Hereditary, also one of my favorites, uh, where I go? Uh, Midsommar, Raw, Ready or Not, The Blair Witch Project, The Hotel in the Ground, I haven't seen that, The Haunting of Hill House, Devil's Backbone, The Conjuring 2, The Nun, The Others, Ringu, The Ring, uh, The Strangers, oops, what do we got here? Underwater, Thelma, and The Wailing. Now, you can see that those are all vastly different, and it looks awesome. Uh, there's so many, just such good stuff. I actually love The Others. Uh, that one's one of my favorites. I also really loved, it, for this clip at least, I think it was, where was it? The Others was good. I loved, I think Halloween was good. Get Out, um, oh, Hereditary, I think might have been my favorite on this one. But you can see there's just such a nice variety of looks. And, of course, obviously, again, as always, and sort of what I mentioned in the Horror Scores 2-pack, is that I love that they name them directly after the film. So if you come into this and you know, okay, you know what, I really want to hit that Hereditary Night look, which, I mean, this was kind of close, Um Obviously, then, it's great to be able to come in here, look at that LUT, know, okay, this is going to look like Hereditary, put it on there, and boom, we're good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add this LUT, because I do love this one for the night. And you can see I added it to this node here. Now, again, this would be a layer if you're in a different program. And then on the first one, or the original clip, or whatever you're using, uh, I like to do some of the corrections. So, I'd probably bring the exposure down just a touch. Uh, really squash it so that way that these IRE values are pretty low. Maybe not that low, but 
and I mean, that just looks awesome straight out of the box. You know, that's literally just the LUT on or off and on. And you can see that that makes a huge difference. And it's very, very simple. And, and that's one of the things that I love about this LUT pack is you slap it on and you do your correction initially and then everything looks great. So let's jump to a different clip. Now, we're not going to match the first clip. We're going to do something a little different. So let's make a new node. Because one of the things that I want to bring out in this clip is I really want to bring out the blues in that flashlight. So I kind of like this Let Me In. I think Halloween, well, a little more green. But so Let Me In has that real like blue look of this flashlight, which is something we want. So I'm going to add that LUT. And then I'm just going to pull this down a little bit because I want the I want it to be really dark except for the um, actual you know flashlight itself there. Maybe even darker. Bring it down even more. I love working in curves. So you can see that's our correction. And if we turn the LUT off, this is our initial clip. This is our clip after we corrected it. And then this is our actual LUT on there. And I mean, just what a difference that makes. I mean, you can see obviously it's flat. I mean, obviously it's log, but just huge, huge, huge difference. And again, totally different LUT. Looks awesome. I mean, you know, obviously we're not matching these, but those actually do look fairly close. This definitely is a little more green. So let's jump to this shot where she's actually walking towards us. Uh, we get kind of this like flare going on and a little more of like a flashlight look. Let's try something different. Let's go for kind of a different fun look. I mean, we could go black and white. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, let's try that. Why not? Let's go for it. It's the only black and white one. We got to go for it. <laughs> so I'd probably pull the, the shadows quite a bit down on that. I mean, that's just a cool look. I mean, you just got to love black and white. Let's uh, let's try a different one. Let's see. Let's go for a color. Ooh, Fright Night looks cool. So that really has that really, really nice, like, blue-green kind of hue to it, which we were going for, obviously, for nighttime. What I'd probably do, let's, uh, let's do something a little different. In the RAW settings, I'm going to bring the ISO back down to 400. Now, this is something I obviously have because we shot in RAW. Um, you know, if you didn't, you wouldn't have that. I'm going to bring the contrast there, and I'm going to bring the exposure down even more. So it's really, really dark. Especially that way the flashlight is blooming. Eh, well, I might bring it up a little more than that. And then add a little more contrast. Cool. So we can see this is, uh, this is the corrected version where we dropped our ISO. We added a little more contrast, things like that. And then that is with our LUT on there. I mean, that just goes from a regular looking sort of boring clip straight out of the camera to looks like an actual film and what you would see in a film. And obviously we're trying to push that that flashlight is the actual light and there's this weird like moonlight coming through. So it just looks awesome. So this next clip we have, we have this red light that's kind of pulsating. So I really want to make sure to accentuate that red light, but also keep these kind of like blue greeny hues. So let's take a peek at a couple. I like that one. Ooh, Get Out actually looks really nice on that. Let's see what Hereditary. Raw, I really like. That's a great movie, by the way. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Haunting of Hill House. I like that. That adds quite a bit. We're going to actually make a new node, though. Whoops. That was one before. So we're going to add a new node. I typically like to leave a, a layer or a node beforehand so I can do any correcting. This is a little too saturated for me, so I would bring the saturation down just a touch. But again, that's more of a correction thing. And then, boom, there we go. So this is the original clip. And, whoops, that is the clip with the LUT, the Haunting of Hill House. You can see when it when the red light goes away, we get those nice green blues. And then obviously when that red comes up, it's really nice, has a really nice look to it. Cool. Last one is this outside clip. Now, one thing that's really cool about this, I'm going to change the ISO to 400 because we definitely fairly overexposed. I might even go to 200. Yeah. One of the things about this clip, um, I kind of had in the back of my mind knowing, uh, so this is definitely a Halloween, as in the film, inspired clip. Uh, you know, in the original Halloween, she's walking down those really big streets with those big trees, and there's a street near me that has a very, very similar look, and I knew I wanted this shot because I knew it was going to sort of match that original Halloween vibe. Well, look at that. We have a Halloween lot. <laughs> So when I add that right in there, now this, this clip's a little too warm, um, so I'd probably bring it to 6,500 Kelvin. Now, again, we shot raw, or excuse me, I'd probably bring it the other way, 4,800, um, maybe even more, maybe like 4,500. And we shot raw. If you weren't shooting raw, you could go in and obviously just move your color wheels to change the white balance ever so slightly. 
I'm going to add even more contrast because you got to love that good old contrast. And then I'm going to probably desaturate it just a touch. Yeah. But check that out. So that is the original clip without the LUT on there. And that is the Halloween LUT. Oh, man. I love that shot. It's one of my favorite shots. But you can really see that the Horror LUTs uh, V2 pack is super versatile. There is a ton of different kinds. Obviously, we could have dove into a million more and a million different LUTs and looks. And that's one of the great things. Again, this is a great standalone program or, you know, LUT pack, but it's also really great companion to the first one. So again, right now on Triune Digital, it is $11.60. So if you're not jumping on that right now, you should be. If it's not Cyber Monday, I'm sorry, but it's still totally worth it. I think it's like $29. Uh, whatever it is, it's worth it because, like I said, these are just awesome. And if you're a horror buff like me and you do a lot of horror shorts or some things that look like that, maybe music videos that have the same tone, this is a no-brainer for sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.